Alright, hello. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on triggers for Hammerhead C3. Now, I know some of you may not have got the tutorial for the triggers in Shark's new tutorial on the new rework, but um, I feel like most people have asked to like have another tutorial on the triggers because some people are still not getting it. Now, I'll try and make this as simple as possible. I'm basically just going to be telling you what to do, to be honest. If you want to create a trigger. I only suggest triggers to people that actually know what they're doing and how they like to, how to script, you know, basic stuff. You don't need any advanced scripting for this, really. You just need to, you just need to remember how to do it. So, I'm going to start off by actually selecting what part I would like my trigger to go off on. Um... Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just say real quickly, um, about this ride, I just like to credit the guy train that's in uh, the Hammerhead Discord, so he could help out with this tutorial, and this tutorial would not be possible without, without him, so yeah, uh, big props to him. Now, back to the triggers, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna make a go off here actually. Uh, on five four five. So I'm gonna save that for a minute. Now I wanna come back down. So see replicate storage. I wanna go to triggers and add an object value. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what kind of value you add. But object value is probably the best one to add because yeah, that's just what's worked for me. As long as your value has an attribute, so you want to create an attribute. Uh, you want it to be a number attribute. This is really important. You need to have it as a number attribute. I know some people are still making the same mistake on the last one about um, not having it the right attribute. Like same with the root parts. They're all number values. Just like to confirm that to you. Now, I'm gonna set this to time. So what's gonna happen is is that when the train goes over this now, um, it's gonna actually set the um, it's actually gonna change the value in the attribute, which we will it will make more sense when I explain in a moment. So, oh yeah, you need to list you need to name your value as well to what track part you would like to have it set on so um what i'll do now is that i'll create a script and service and service script service and i'm actually gonna set a variable for the triggers parent so Make it look a little bit fancier. Right, game get service replicate storage because this is where our hammerhead C frame folder is. We're gonna wait for child hammerhead C frame with child poster info. Wait for child. Well, whatever your poster name is, it should come up. It, it should come up whatever your poster name is or whatever you named it as. But that and then your triggers folder. Okay, now I'm going to come down here, going to type triggers again, and then your number trigger, which will be 5, 4, 5, like that, which is this one here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when the train goes over, it will change the value. So what we want to do is that we want to see when the this value is changed so then it can do a function if that kind of makes sense because as i said once the train goes over that part it will change that time attribute for that and now you want to get get attributes change signal not anything else okay just get attribute change signal now want to 
connect it to allow it to create a function within this. Now I can write whatever I want, so I'll um I'll add a fire emitter. I'll make it um because I because I genuinely like can't be bothered. I'm gonna make like the fire go off or something. So you can do whatever you want, whatever you want for this. By the way, this is just what I'm doing. Um, nope, didn't need to go in there. All right. Um, you may want to use this for experimenting purposes, but I, I, I don't mind to be honest. It's it's your ride, so you can script whatever you want it to do. Now, let me quickly disable that. Disable that. Okay. Now, what I'll make it do is that when it hits this, the fire will go off. Okay. Now, I'll go back to my script. And, well, I'll just find out what this is called in a minute. Once I find out, because I, I it kind of just looks like I've just removed it. They get right. So it's called, I'll just name it. Fire okay. You can insert this into any folder or any model that you want. I'm just going to put it into workspace for now because this is just a tutorial. Now, you could just ignore this if you want. You can put whatever you, your function is in there now. And yeah. So, just you can ignore me at this point because I'm just going to be writing my own code, but then I'll actually show you how it works at the end. So, what I'll do is that I'll actually make it print first. Um, trigger activated and workspace wait child fire trigger wait child fire dot enabled equals print. And then I'll just copy that and put that smoke enabled it to equals three. I'll do a task for weight equals five. Actually, no, it'll be probably going really fast. I'll make it like one. There we go. And I'll copy the entity. So that's default. Okay. Now come back now. Um I'll publish the game so I can test it. So now when I test this, hopefully it should actually work when I load it up. Here we go. Okay, so this is uh, what we got. I'll quickly turn it to manual. Right. When that starts flashing, I can dispatch it. There you go. There you go, that gets sent off. Now, realistically, I mean, unless it, the fire part is an anchored, I really hope it's not. Hold on. Quickly check it to you. It's not anchored. I mean, anchored. Hang on a bit. Right. Right, it's anchored. Okay, good. Right, I'm going to go into free cam real quick, and hopefully this should just go off. If it doesn't, then we have issues. And I'm just not a very good tutorial kind of person. Right. Yep. There we go. Right. So that smoke fire just went off as soon as the train went over it, which is good. That's what we want. Okay. And yeah, that's basically how you do triggers. Um, if anyone has any questions, just please ask me. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching the tutorial and I hope this is helpful for you. See you.